With just days before Thanksgiving, federal health officials issuing a new warning. It's about romaine lettuce. Keep it off the holiday menu as they investigate a new nationwide E. coli outbreak. Troy Campbell standing by in the studio with this urgent concern. Troy? Well, Matt and Lisa, since the Center for Disease Control says they haven't been able to locate the exact source, so until they do, they don't want anyone to take the risk of getting sick. So tonight we spoke to a doctor who says this warning needs to be taken seriously. This is um, a pretty large outbreak. It's actually been going on since really the beginning of October. Dr. Nicole M. Iovin with the University of Florida's Infectious Disease Division says today's food safety alert issued by the CDC came after a month long investigation attempting to find the source of the E. coli outbreak in romaine lettuce. Even if you sprayed your lettuce with Lysol and you killed 99.9%, well, 99.9% .9 of a million leaves you with thousands and thousands of bacteria still. The CDC says 32 people have become ill in 11 states in Canada since October 8th. The FDA telling News 6 this is an outbreak, not a recall. With grocers across the country being urged to stop selling the product, we stopped at this Orlando Publix, where the romaine lettuce has been taken off of the shelves. Yes, it's pretty difficult when the CDC is not able to pinpoint a specific brand when they have to make a very blanket statement. Dr. Iovin says symptoms include abdominal pain and nausea, adding anyone who becomes ill should see a doctor right away. Depending on how much contaminated lettuce you ate, that could happen pretty quickly in a day or two, or it could take much longer, up to eight days maybe. And health officials also say in fall of 2017 and spring of 2018, similar E. coli outbreaks uh, did occur involving romaine lettuce. And so far, the CDC says 13 people have been hospitalized with this most recent outbreak. Matt? Bad timing for this right around Thanksgiving. Troy, thank you.